Hey guys, Peru here to do an album review. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about the brand new debut record from Mutanka. Mutanka, coming out on Napalm Records. The album has 14 tracks, 57 minutes in length. This is a band from Ukraine. They won the 2018 Vakan Open Air Metal Battle and they mix traditional Ukrainian instruments with metal and folk and even electronic sounds. It's really hard to categorize this band. Uh, listening to the band, listening to this album, I had a really hard time putting it into a box because this band and this record is completely out of the box. Nothing I ever heard before sounded anywhere near what these guys were able to put together on this record. When you mix these different genres, I really felt that perhaps the album was going to give me songs that would fluctuate more towards one genre. So a song would be uh, metal, one song would be folk, one song would be electronic. That's not what they did. They mixed these three genres really on every single track. Sure, some tracks perhaps the pendulum will fall towards more folk or metal, but all three are present on every single track. When you do that, what you, you, what you end up with is songs that go beyond their sound. Uh, they paint a picture. They create something vivid in front of you. They're very atmospheric in nature. They're very hypnotizing. And then when you have a vocalist that's able to adjust, not his voice, because his voice is absolutely incredible throughout the record, but he's able to adjust ever so slightly the tone of his delivery, depending on the momentum of the track, it adds to that. It makes the songs feel even more atmospheric. It makes the songs feel even more hypnotizing. He has the perfect voice and the perfect delivery for a band that has songs this dynamic, this fluid, that change absolutely on a dime. Absolutely incredible album, incredible structure, incredible sound, and very unique. I, I honestly, this album is so unique, it's hard for me to sit here and describe it to you because I've never heard anything like it before. I like the structure of the album. I like that it include a couple of intro tracks, one right at the beginning, one of the middle, then there's an auto track, and those intro tracks bleed into the following tracks on the record, so they become almost part of a track, not really a defined intro track. I really like that as well. Uh, I like the delivery of the vocals, like I said, I like the song structure, I like the dynamic that they give the, the record. Every song is different. You're not going to get two songs that sound the same, and you're also not going to get songs that have the same feel, same structure, same DNA, if you will. They have the same elements. Every song on the record has the same elements, uh, but all of them are, are mixed in differently. Every song has a different recipe, if you will. I like some of the intros that they use more folk, uh, the, those are Ukrainian folk instruments as the intro of the song. In some cases, they use them as the outro. In some cases, they use them for solos in the middle of the song. Some songs start with a more melodic, almost atmospheric in introduction to the track, then becomes heavy. Some songs start heavy, then become more atmospheric. There is a little bit for everybody to have on this record. The thing that I take away is how they were able to create music that feels that it goes beyond music, that feels like it's painting a picture, a live 3D picture in front of you that allows your brain to travel with the music, that allows your brain to be captivated by it. It goes beyond being atmospheric. This album is beyond that. That's why I also categorize it as hypnotizing because it really goes beyond atmosphere. This is an incredible debut record from this band. These guys are absolutely phenomenal. Such a different and unique style, such a different and unique delivery, such a different and unique uh, structure and feel to their tracks. I was absolutely taken back by this record. Now, as far as favorite songs are concerned, I'm going to start with Fire Burns. That's the second song on the record, but it's actually the first one because the first track is an intro that bleeds in into this song. It becomes almost part of it. This song starts with a really cool intro with drums uh, and vocals. It really has that atmospheric vibe as the song starts. And then the, the, the harshness, the aggression of the music and the vocals kick in and the song takes a complete uh, 180. It goes on a completely different path, becoming a lot heavier than what that atmospheric intro led you to believe. The track really alternates. It, it continues like that. It continues to alternate that atmospheric balance that you had from the intro with a more heavy and aggressive sound. So this is a song that really feels like an ocean tide. It just keeps coming in and out and it really alternates between these two spectrums. You really get portions of more atmospheric sound, melodic, almost putting you into a trance, and then you get these bursts of aggression, both vocally and musically, that just come at you very heavy, with very heavy guitar riffs, 
very melodic and heavy guitar riffs and so this is a song that really alternates between those two it just gives you a sense of coming and going all the time uh, there, there's a fight between these two very different spectrums but they're at the same time they're very well integrated together to really have a song that flows extremely well this is one of my favorite songs on the record the next song i'm going to talk to you guys about is air now this this is really interesting because the song is named air and the way it starts it starts with a melodic guitar track that really feels like the wind breeze absolutely incredible the way the guitar sounds it almost sounds like the wind hitting a wind chime that's how the song starts and it fits the title of the track perfectly this is obviously not by accident but it's extremely well thought out well crafted how they made that guitar sound like the wind hitting the wind chimes absolutely incredible the song has uh, it, this is a song that has a riff bass but that intro really captivates you that intro is really mesmerizing but this is a song that has uh, I would say it's a it's more of a, of a metal riff based song almost reminiscent of the heyday of, of the new metal era it has that a lot of similarities to how the guitar sounds on this track with that era of the when the new metal uh, came into the scene so there's a lot of characteristics of the guitar sound on this song that reminded me of that but it's very captivating it has melody there it has aggression it alternates between those two very every so slightly it, but it's a very guitar driven track perhaps one of the more guitar driven tracks on the record the song sets itself apart from the rest of the album and I, to me, it's by that guitar riff. It's very unique. You're not going to get another song on the record that gives you that same sound, that same style, that same feel that this song has. It has a very unique, melodic and heavy uh, riff. At the same time, also a little bit melancholic at times. I really like that. This is a song that really, by that alone, it sells itself apart from the rest of the album. Vocals on this track are haunting. They're melodic. They're beautiful, but I would say perhaps if there's one word to describe the vocals on this specific track is haunting. And that is in addition to how that guitar sounds, because the guitar really has a little bit of a haunting melodic sound to it. And when you add the vocals, it just really enhances it. It just it just brings it all up. It really brings it all to the forefront, how haunting overall the song is. And if you look back at the beginning with that wind chime guitar melody to start off, it all mixes in together it all blends in together into a song that gives you an overall atmosphere a very haunting atmosphere for a track like this i like the finish as well the finish completely uh, the, the the bitter end of the song really completely threw me for a loop because they finish off with folk instruments almost a, a melody of folk instruments to finish out the song a song that started off with that guitar melody a song that had a very specific and unique style of guitar riff and melody and a haunting vocal delivery throughout. Never in my mind that I thought the song was gonna finish on a folk note and have this extended outro that's just beautiful folk melody. I never in a million years I thought they were gonna do that. It works really well because it kind of feels almost like the song starts off as the wind in the morning hitting the wind chimes and then with those folk instruments in the middle uh, i mean at the end of the song it feels like at the end of the day when the wind starts to dissipate and the sun starts to go down and the evening is coming in it really gives you that feel of the air and the wind coming in at the beginning and then going out at the end extremely well done extremely well put together with their hauntingness right there in the middle last but not least horizon another track that the intro really allows you to ease yourself into the song they do that quite frequently on this album and i like that because it, it, it the songs don't come at you very violently they come at you with a nice melodic intro it just allows your brain and your mind and your ears to set yourself into the song the vocals and guitar work together add a lot of melody and darkness to this track specifically to the verses i like how the combination the two are so intertwined so interconnected the way the vocals come at you, the way the guitar sounds, it's its like the two are one in this specific song, in the verses of the song. But the melody and heaviness of both, the, of both the guitars and the vocals and the chorus is more hypnotic. This is a song that's similar to Fire Burns, has a structure of, of verses versus chorus, where the verses gives you one thing and then the chorus gives you something completely different. I like that. This song works extremely well. They blend them perfectly well. There's a perfect fluidity from verses to chorus. They don't change as abrupt. They, there's more of a melodic, methodic change to them, and it really works. The song 
moves itself to the melody that it has, to the aggression that it has, to the heaviness that it has, to the darkness that it has. To me, these are the four components that this song really offers you. Melody, aggression, heaviness, and darkness. Those four elements are present throughout, and in the verses, perhaps more, more uh, of darkness and, and melody, and then in the uh, chorus of perhaps a little bit more of heaviness and aggression. But those four throughout are there throughout the whole track. Combining them all, keeping them all each in their own corner while mixing them together is the, the it's key for how this song works and how it works so well. It's not easy to have these four uh, this uh, these four different styles, these four different um, feelings in one single song, allowing them to have their own separate corner throughout the track and still being able to blend them all together in order to, for the track not to feel choppy and not to feel that it's broken up. The, tr the track itself, it feels very fluid from the moment it starts through the verses, through the chorus, all the way through the end. A really well put together song, a song that has a lot of aggression, really even from a vocal perspective, it has a lot of aggression, there's a lot of anger, a lot of emotion into this track. I really love it, but to me, the key of this song is really how they mix those four elements together and made the song work. All right, guys, this is Mutanka with their debut album, Mutanka, coming out on Napalm Records, as I mentioned before. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the record, on the singles in the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.